Today, I'm going to show you how I make hardtack. Alright, first we're going to take one cup of acorn flour and one cup of regular flour. And one third of a teaspoon of salt. Mix the dry ingredients together. Alright, next I'm going to take half a cup of milk, and I'm going to warm it up in the microwave. This will help the honey to dissolve and melt and combine with the milk. That's hot enough. Next, I'm going to take four tablespoons, roughly, of honey. I've already heated this honey up so that it will also mix with the milk. And the measurements don't have to be exact because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take one farm fresh egg straight from the chicken's rear and mix it in our, our glop, our milk honey mixture. Do is I'll make a little crater in the middle of my flour mixture and I'll pour this right into the middle of it. I'm just going to slowly mix my. Two batches of it. Alright. Sheet. We'll put some flour on it. And we'll roll it out to till it's about a quarter of an inch thick. like it too thin otherwise it gets too uh, hard. I like being able to chew my hardtack. What I like to do to make it easier to break is I score it into about one inch squares. <clears throat> Alright, I just like to take a poker of some kind and just poke a hole right in the middle of all of them making a belly button now I know this isn't an authentic hardtack recipe but I have found that I do eat this an authentic hardtack I don't eat because it's disgusting this actually tastes good and I have some extra ingredients that I mixed in with it just to give you some extra energy and flavor and just some things to keep you going when you're out hiking in the, wherever you're out hiking at. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And then I will take it and flip this whole thing over and bake it for another 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up my mess before my wife comes home. But 
she doesn't know won't hurt her. Do this when your wife is at home. Alright, 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 stop. I've let them uh, kind of dry at a cool 200 degrees for about an hour. So I put them on a rack so they'll, ouch, that's hot, so they will dry more evenly. And I'll let them cool. And if I want them to dry harder, to last longer, I'll put them in, let them cool, and then I'll put them in for another hour. And you just break them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, carry them around on your next hike. Is it the most delicious thing you've ever eaten in your entire life? <laughs> if you put it through one more uh, hour of about 200 degrees in the oven, the stuff will be hard as a brick. But it'll be drier and it'll, it'll last longer. But you won't even be able to chew it. You have to bust it into pieces with your rifle butt. Well, for now, thanks for watching Dan the Caveman's Kitchen.